assalamu alaikum this is me dr jangir and you are watching me on my youtube channel that is dr jangir khan uh, this is a very important x ray you can see uh, this patient presented with the chief complaint of uh, shortness of breath that is more on exertion the patient is having uh, ascites and the patient is having uh, tender hepatomegaly and bilateral pedal edema now what do you see in this chest x ray the most prominent sign in this chest x-ray is you can see over here this thing you would not see this thing in a normal x-ray and you cannot see this thing this prominence over here in a normal chest x-ray now when you see a normal chest x-ray you are having iota coming down and then you appreciate the pulmonary trunk over here so you can see a small depression on the chest x-ray this depression is called pulmonary bay over here this this depression that depression is obliterated by this thing this is called positive pulmonary bay sign this is called positive pulmonary bay sign and the pulmonary bay is obliterated by this opacity now what is this opacity normally you can appreciate the iota behind this is the iota iotic line and this actually over here is pulmonary trunk so normally there is a concavity when you see a normal chest x-ray there is a concavity so in this x-ray the con concavity is lost and that is replaced by an opacity and also if you see over here that is also the size of that is increased this is called pulmonary arterial hypertension this is a case of pulmonary hypertension pulmonary arterial hypertension uh, the pulmonary trunk is dilated and the descending pulmonary artery on the right side is dilated so if you if you see pulmonary base and this it means pulmonary arterial hypertension now that may be due to any cause that may be primary or idiopathic pulmonary hypertension may be secondary may have five who classes uh, we will discuss in the next lecture the algorithm for pulmonary hypertension but right now you just focus on this chest x-ray with a positive pulmonary base sign and this is called pulmonary arterial hypertension so pulmonary base sign this is a very important sign you can miss this but you should not miss this this is a this is a prominent pulmonary artery we know that in the right hilum we are having arteries veins nerves lymph nodes but when you see pulmonary base sign along with that the bulky right hilum this is actually a descending pulmonary artery Thanks for watching. Do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of my new video. Uh, what is the best next step? Answer is echo with PAP, pulmonary arterial hypertension. That will show you uh, PAP, pulmonary arterial pressure. Then for the etiology of PAP, what is the best next step? Look for ejection fraction, point number one. Point number two, look for pulmonary embolism and lung parenchyma. So you do chest X, uh, HRCT and then you do a VQ scan. To exclude uh, recurrent pulmonary embolism. Look for obstructive sleep apnea, obesity, hypoventilation syndrome. These are, are the causes for this case. Thanks for watching.